Hey, hey, what do you say? You ready for another fitness Q&A? <laughs> the first question comes from Get In Shape Girl. She wants to know how Olympic lifts fit into training for physique. Well, Get In Shape Girl, I use Olympic lifts two to three times a week and I'll use them for my warm-ups on leg day and maybe like an arm day also. And um, for me, it's not so much dragging out the Olympic lifts into 20 or 30 minutes. It's maybe five to 15 minutes, three sets of five, six sets of three. Um, I tend to break it up and I don't go as heavy, you know, maybe once every couple of weeks I'll try for a new PR, but mostly it's just like hang cleans and firing up the central nervous system and really getting ready for the lift. So, um, you know, again, I'll use them as mostly a warm-up in the gym. Erica asks, what is your favorite junk food recipe? Well, Erica, my favorite, and I don't know if it would be a junk food, but it's definitely a healthier version of mashed potatoes, and it's mashed cauliflower, and I'm loving that right now. So basically, you'll take a head of cauliflower, and you'll steam it for 15 to 20 minutes until it's like pretty mushy and then throw it in the food processor and blend it up really well and I'll add either Greek yogurt or a little bit of coconut oil and some lemon, a ton of garlic and salt and pepper and it's absolutely delicious and it tastes just like mashed potatoes. So um, a lower carb version of kind of an indulgent food. So that's my favorite right now. Heidi asks, what are some routines for building shoulders? Well, Heidi, what has worked for me in the past was to do a little bit more volume, five sets of eight, four sets of 10, and increasing your time under tension. So the eccentric portion of the exercise, you really, really want to take your time with it, you know, a slow one, two, and then pause at the bottom and um, bring the weight back up. And for shoulder press, upright rows, um, the military press is what really, really helped build my shoulders, I think. And then also continuing to do the Olympic lifts because it's a lot of shoulders. So hopefully that helps. The next question comes from Jacqueline. She asks, if you could have one more final workout ever, what would it look like? Well, Jacqueline, it would have to be a workout that goes back to one of my college workouts. I would hit the track and I would probably run um, six 150s or eight 200s, uh, get a really good sprint workout in, and then maybe take a 15 or 20 minute break, have a little protein, some carbs, and then hit the gym for a power lifting workout and some legs. And um, that would pretty much be the best workout that, that I could ever imagine. Um, yeah, I <laughs> just got nostalgic there. <laughs> Sue asks, if you only had 45 minutes, three days a week to train, what would your workouts consist of? Well, Sue, if I had three days, I would mix it up into a total body day, or maybe like a metabolic day where I'm doing a sled or a tire flip or something, an upper body day with a high intensity cardio after, and then a lower body day. And that would really take care of everything that you could possibly need. And since you're short on time, for all of those days, I would recommend really keeping your recovery time to 30 to 45 seconds and even doing supersets, circuits, giant sets, and maximizing your time in the gym and keeping your heart rate up to where you're getting your cardio and your weights at the same time. So hopefully that helps. Amy asks, how do you embrace your body and work with its strengths instead of wishing it looked like someone else's? Amy, I think that's something that we all struggle with um, just as gym goers, competitors, and, and as human beings. I think the first step to embracing our strengths and embracing our body the way it is is to look at how we talk to ourselves. Do you talk to yourself like you would talk to a friend or are you negative? I know a lot of times I'll catch myself looking in the mirror and I'll be like, gosh, I really just don't like my thighs. When 
you focus on the first thing that you don't like and you pick yourself apart, of course you're going to feel terrible about your body. But make a habit the next time you're in the gym to really look at a body part that you like. Say it's your calves and you're like, wow, you know, I have really shapely, awesome calves and I've done a really good job in the last year bringing them up even more. So start looking at the way you look at yourself and how you talk to yourself and I, I think you'll find that you will appreciate what you have um, a little bit more. So that's it for questions for this week. Until next week, train hard y'all.